Now let's talk about implementing continuous testing in a DevOps environment use case. Um, for this particular one, I want to talk about four types of actual testing uh, in the DevOps pipe pipeline. And as we talked about before, continuous testing, it definitely requires a comprehensive solution so that you can test across all of these key areas in the software development lifecycle. So when we talk about the four types, we're talking really about the four key areas of development, integration, pre-release, and actual feedback. And with each of these different areas, you have different approaches, but also goals. Now, if we look at it from a development perspective, the goal for development is really fast feedback. Again, what can I, what issues are we having before we even push this out to an integration perspective? What are we finding out? So the way this is done, that approach for developers is creating small tests with a few isolated platforms. And then when we get to integration testing, the goal of the course is to have a stable build. And for a stable build, you want that end-to-end -end testing for a few um, integrated platforms. So you want to make sure that what you're putting out is actually working. And then, of course, you want that pre-release. You want to make sure it's deployment ready. And with this, that approach is going to be having a full suite of tests for all your platforms so you can run them in parallel. And the goal of parallel execution is one is for is basically for speed and also to make sure that you're getting um, as much coverage as possible for your for the application under test. And then of course feedback, which is continuous feedback through monitoring and debugging. And this is also monitoring in production, monitoring in pre-release, and all these other areas. And with this, you want to be able the approach you want to take is actually monitoring those business critical tests and those re relevant platforms that are targeted. So if you know based upon the, the, uh, the demographics or the regions of your users, what areas you need to test, what's critical, what could possibly really destroy revenue for your company, you want to make sure that you're testing those critical areas uh, regardless. So if we look at this, how do you implement this with a cloud-based solution like a soft labs? Well, if you look at it from the development phase, we're going to test on every pull request. And then, of course, with integration, we want to automate those tests in parallel. Again, we want to be able to get as much coverage and have, you know, be able to not only test as comprehensively as possible, but to be able to release as quickly as possible so that we can keep pace so that QA, again, or excuse me, testing doesn't become that bottleneck for the organization or for that dev team. Same thing with pre-release. And then for feedback, you would use a cloud solution like Soft, Soft Labs for a live test, bug reproduction on any platform. So that's, again, a key advantage. So what you're seeing here is really a necessity to have a cloud-based solution so that test automation can be implemented at that high level. So how do you actually apply this to your pipeline? Well, as we talked about before, if you have those teams, whether they're co-located co or distributed, and those teams are going to have um, certain uh, items from their, um, from their dev plan, such as feature definition, test authoring, test-driven development, behavior-driven development, and so forth. And then from a code perspective, creating unit tests, and also at that component test. So those local dev environments, they want to be able to take that code and merge it into that shared delivery pipeline. So now you can go across those four phases of build, test, deploy, and operate, and basically implement that in a, in a continuous uh, improvement fashion. So with that, from the build, Soft Labs, or having that cloud solution is going to help ensure that you have a stable build. And then you'll be able to verify the functionality during the, the testing phase. Again, whether it's API regression, performance testing, including front-end performance testing, which is uh, very critical to understand a lot of those applications um, that are especially front-end uh, heavy, especially those JavaScript applications. And then, of course, through deployment, make sure it's deployment ready, and then feedback. So you can see how all this relates to, uh, to your application pipeline. Now, if we take it a step further, we talked about before how mobile plays a huge part of this. So we cannot forget that mobile is a mobile first um, development type world, but it's not a mobile only. So you want to look at it, how do you test across all these different platforms from using 
the tools at, at your disposal, whether it's mobile emulators and simulators or real devices, as well as those different cross-browser tests that you want to run, or even doing that headless testing within the cloud on these platforms.